Well, normally yeah, we shoot these outside and talk to passers-by, but this time around, with our favorite local morning legend leaving, John Beard, we decided to take it in-house to ask people what John Beard means to them. What will this newsroom be like without John Beard? Uh, the food will last a little longer. <laughs> He's always, I have to always fight him off. Yeah. He's the first one in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we would not have the Edward R. Murrow credibility uh -huh. without John Beard. It could, it, it, we would not have the Emmys that you see uh -huh. coursing through this building yeah. without John Beard. Might as well just close up shop. Done. <laughs> I'm out. What was uh, what three words would you use to describe Mr. Beard? Talented, um, exceptional, uh, steady. You gonna miss him? Oh, tremendously. How will the NFL be different without the Cleveland Browns? We lose the easiest out in the WGRZ Fantasy <laughs> Football League. He, does he still work here? Does he? I thought he retired like two years ago. Because I never see him, I'm never here in the morning. He, he's unclipping the mic, taking out the hairpiece, he's retiring. <laughs> uh, what, what did John Beard mean to you? Back when I used to see him before he switched to his three hour workday, <laughs> he taught me everything I know about broadcasting. The thing I will miss most is knowing that when he wore the same green tie, that it was definitely Friday because he wore the same green tie every Friday. There will be a lot fewer laughs. John is just so funny. Um, he, he's my on-air husband. <laughs> so I'm getting a divorce. There'll be less Mountain Dew consumed. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think he's going to do in his retirement now? That's a good question. He won't answer it, will he? No, I don't know. He has something up his sleeve. He always does. You're picking up the pieces for the John Beard administration. <laughs> That's right. Well, the way I don't look at it that way. I look at it as my new on-air wife's ex-husband. <laughs> <laughs> he is an unbelievable guy. He's a fantastic, legendary journalist, but an even better guy. There'll be one less navy blue blazer around. Ah, uh, what, Stephanie? You <laughs> Can I say what I won't miss? Yeah. John Beard borrows money from me often for his Mountain Dew, for his lottery tickets, wow. and typically I have an IOU note right here on my desk for what he owes me. He just uh, balanced that out, but uh, that's something I won't miss. I'll have more cash in my bank. I appreciate you holding them accountable. Always, that's what we do here. I will miss the stories about how really bad a golfer he is. <laughs> and I hope you have time to work on your game, John. All the best. I will miss the fact that he doesn't stay around until 9 a.m. so that he can see me and greet me and say, hey girl. Emily, uh, John Beard, uh, what will you miss about him? Any impressions that John Beard left on you? John Beard, the guy from uh, Arrested Development. No, yeah. Uh, he was great. You know, he worked here. He works here? <laughs> Can we ask you about John Beard? Can we ask you about John Beard? My name, John Beard, is Jeff Perval. Jeff Perval, <laughs> not Jeff Michael. Remember that time I was out doing Daybreak? You tossed to me and you said, here's Jeff Michael out in the field. It's like, what are you talking about? Anyway, we shook it off, it was funny. Congratulations, John Beard, on your retirement and hopefully you live happily ever after into the sunset. Peace out, guy. He always came in with something on his mind that always brought a smile to our faces. How will the, uh, the newsroom be different now without John Beard? Well, I don't know, because he's never here. <laughs> but uh, on air, at least, we, I will miss his wry sense of humor. Shakespeare said, Brevity is the soul of wit. Mm -hmm. He understands that. We're going to re really miss everything he's brought. and. Uh, you know, just uh, he's just a great guy to have around. He is the nicest guy. Every time he comes through the lobby, he says, Penny, how are you doing? Have a great day. And he means it. And he means it. He's a sincerely wonderful man, and I wish him all the best. And we're going to miss John. John, don't go. Please don't go. What is your favorite uh, John Beard memory? Oh, well, I really can't divulge it. 